<laughs> well, welcome all of you little boys and girls. So Santa, where were you born? I was born in a small Greek village in uh, northern Turkey. Now how did you become Santa? I, I started as uh, Saint Nicholas and have evolved over the years to Santa Claus today. How old are you? I'm older than, than both the Easter Bunny and the Tooth Fairy combined. Do you have any siblings? I have, but I've outlived them all. So Santa, what is your favorite cookie? Well, you know, I love them all. These happen to be ginger snaps, though, but I really like them all. What was your last meal? This morning, I had the most wonderful breakfast. It was made up of uh, uh, pecan pancakes and sausage and eggs. It was wonderful. Who is your best friend? That's an easiest question. You ask me, it's Mrs. Claus. How did you and Mrs. Claus meet? We were in church. Do you and Mrs. Claus have any children? Yes, we do. What is your favorite dessert from Mrs. Claus? Oh, she makes me the most wonderful pecan pies and lemon rain pies. I have a hard time choosing. Do you ever trim your beard? She trims my beard, otherwise it'd be three miles long. How many suits do you own? I've got a closet full. I have them for different occasions, like working in the shop or out uh, delivering packages or whatever. Why do you wear a hat? Well, <laughs> I'll show you why. It's cold out there. Do you ever wear ordinary clothes? Oh yes, when we go on vacations, I, I wear ordinary clothes. What is your favorite thing about the North Pole? I have a, a castle up there that was designed by my wife and the elves, and they did a marvelous job. It's an ice castle. How cold is it at the North Pole? Well, in 1991, it set the all-time record. It was 93 below zero. So Santa, how many decorated Christmas trees are at the North Pole? Literally thousands and thousands. How big is the workshop at the North Pole? Some say it rivals Walmart's. What was the first toy you ever made? It was a little wood to train about this long and I just loved it. What is your favorite toy ever made? The little wooden train, I just love it. How many elves work at the North Pole? Thousands and thousands. How do the elves make so many toys in a year? You know, they're workaholics and I just, I can't even get them to slow down. They work 24 seven. How many toys do the elves make in a year? You'll have to talk to Miss Sally about that. She keeps the records. How much eggnog do you and the elves actually drink? <laughs> well, you can take a look at who drinks the most, but we drink a lot of it. <laughs> what do you like to do in your spare time? Well, I just love to read uh, letters from little children. Do you have any pets at all? Yes, we do. We've got a dog and his name is Elvis. And Elvis is, ain't nothing but a hound dog. <laughs> so Santa, did the Grinch make it on the nice list? Just barely. He had to work hard at it. What do children ask for the most? Boys ask for techno toys. Girls ask for, for uh, dolls. Always beautiful dolls. Do you always bring what the kids ask for? We try as hard as we can. How do you stay up all night on Christmas Eve? Coffee, coffee, coffee. How do you carry all those presents in your bag? Well, it's, as you would know, Santa would have a magical bag. And as I take one family's presents out and deliver them, the next family's right in there. Do you ever pass any planes while delivering on Christmas Eve? I do, and I'm, our sleigh and deer, reindeer are so much faster, we just zip right by them. How do you deal with the bad weather on Christmas Eve? Well, in 1948, a reindeer joined us. His name was Rudolph, and he had a special nose. How do you deliver the gifts all in one night? Magic. Why do you use a sleigh to fly? The sleigh is far more fun than an airplane. What is the biggest challenge when flying that sleigh? Well, the problem you have is some roofs just don't have a place for me to land, so I have to just hover and I have to somehow get out and then I use my, my powers to get into the house. How are the reindeer trained to pull the sled? Fortunately, we have two elves that, that are what we call reindeer whisperers and they can train a, a reindeer to do anything. Who named the reindeer? Mrs. Claus and I, we really enjoy doing that. What do the reindeer eat? They love uh, old ro rolled oats 
and uh, uh, hay, but we love to give them baby carrots. How old are the reindeer? They vary in age, but Rudolph's the youngest. Who is the oldest reindeer of them all? Donner. So Santa, does Rudolph's nose really give a red light on Christmas Eve? Yes, it does, but only on foggy Christmas Eves. Now, who is your favorite reindeer of all? <laughs> That's an unfair question. I love them all. How do you fit down the chimney? Well, I use, you've seen it before, I use some Santa magic. I just touch this and I come right in the house. What if families don't have a chimney? Well, I actually can do the same thing. I can just do it again and it'll come right in the house. What is your favorite place to visit on Christmas Eve? Bethlehem. Who is your favorite celebrity to visit on Christmas Eve? Oh, uh, Reba McIntyre and Tim Allen. They're my favorites. <laughs> I like that one. Santa, what do you miss about the North Pole while delivering those gifts? Well, you know, I, I miss the fact that I can't can be here with my wife, Mrs. Claus, in front of the fireplace and having a cup of ch cocoa. So Santa, what do you like kids to leave you on Christmas Eve? cookies and milk, but for the reindeer, please leave some small baby carrots. What is a Christmas gift you would like this year? I want peace on earth and goodwill toward men. Amen to that. How do you keep the Christmas spirit alive all year as you're so you know, jolly? I, I design toys and I, I keep myself in the spirit. What do you have to say to others that think you aren't real? <laughs> What do you do on Christmas Day? Sleep. I sleep a lot. What do you do on New Year's Eve? Do you celebrate? Mrs. Claus and I just love bringing in the new year with Ryan Seacrest. Oh, I like that one. Where do you vacation at? We go to a small island on, uh, off the uh, coast of Georgia. It's called Sea Island. What is one thing you cannot live without? Jesus Christ. So Santa, what's your favorite network to binge watch holiday movies? Well, Lifetime, of course. Which movies are you most excited for during Lifetime's It's a Wonderful Lifetime event? Blending Christmas and a Christmas dance reunion. What is one thing no one knows about you? Well, my secret of how I use my nose to disappear, so... Ho, 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 Merry Christmas! <laughs>